guys. This week we looked at uh, trait theory and we looked at its usefulness and its problems. We considered charismatic leadership and also we looked at the influence of situations on leadership. So the first thing, uh, trait theory. If you think of a leader, someone that you admire, someone that you would follow, you can identify their traits or their characteristics. There are generally two types of characteristics. There are personality traits and there are also task related traits. So what we can do is uh, list the traits that we would see as being uh, or belonging to an effective leader and then try to emulate those, emulate those traits. Now alternatively, uh, what we could do is look at the relationship between the, the leader and the followers because you can't obviously be a leader unless you have followers. So when we start to look at charisma, we're looking at the actual attractiveness of the person, a person who is able to captivate uh, their followers and have a level of devotion, if you like, from their followers. Now, if you have a look at the uh, videos from this week, you'll see a couple of situations where charismatic uh, leadership can be somewhat dangerous, but at the same time, it begs the question, can we actually learn to be charismatic? And if you look at, uh, have a look at the videos, and you can see there are the two elements of leadership, the initiating structure and the consideration for the followers that are very important. One of the key things we considered uh, in the tutorial classes this week was that uh, really, if you want to learn to be charismatic, you what we need to focus on are our public speaking skills. Uh, I think uh, public speaking skills are very important if we're going to be in a lead leadership position. We need then the ability to communicate with our followers. So uh, public speaking skills are something that uh, really we can only practice. We can't learn them in a classroom unless we have actually practice them. And finally, we looked at um, the situations. We looked at the two key theories that we've covered so far. Firstly, Fiedler's uh, contingency theory of leadership. Fiedler effectively said, we are either task focused or yeah, relationship focused. styles and that we should uh, work with followers or in situations where our particular style uh, if we were task best. focused we would work in situations where we needed to exercise high levels of control or low control so effectively emergency services situations or alternatively situations where uh, generally it's free reign so in the free reign uh, situation we would need to exercise more task focus in order to complete the task at hand but generally most uh, modern organizations are focused in that uh, medium control range and this uh, particular control range is where relationship focused leaders tend to perform best uh, according to Fiedler. So Fiedler looks at that really you can't change your style but you can either change the situation to suit your style or alternatively select the leader based on their particular style that suits the situation in which they will lead. Now Hersey Blanchard take a different approach in, in their uh, contingency model or situational leadership model. Hersey and Blanchard suggested that we can actually change our style to suit the readiness of our followers. And by readiness of our followers, this can mean a number of things. It could be the emotional state of our followers. It could mean their actual skills and experience. So for example, we may take a more authoritarian approach with somebody who is new in the organization and needs that closer guidance, maybe even a coaching role with them. And alternatively, if we're dealing with professional we may give them much more free reign and maybe we would just give them goals to achieve as opposed to telling them uh, how to actually achieve those goals. So really the, the, the key points just revised for this week, trait theory, uh, charismatic leadership, have a look at the videos uh, associated with charismatic leadership available via Moodle and also uh, just revise Fiedler's contingency theory of leadership and the Hersey Blanchard situational leadership model. By looking at these three different approaches to understanding leadership, uh, this gives us options in how we either exercise leadership or go about developing our own leadership skills. Thanks.